the technology behind this uh, material that they use for their outsoles, their midsoles. Uh, but I'm going to say it's just, it's progressed. Like I remember. There it is, there it is. Shout out to the UK Innovate Park Claw G280. All right, testing is all done. We took it past that 25 miles, 2,500 feet of vertical gain. Okay, neutral trail running. It's, uh, let me just do, hold on. Gotta hold it over here so I don't get dirt, dirt on the computer here. Uh-huh, not too shabby. It's twisting, okay? Good work there, Innovate. By the way, how's everybody doing? Hope you're having a great weekend out there around the world. Why not? Where are you watching from around the world? Drop your country or your city down in the comments. Okay, we're looking, oh yeah, for the drop, 29 and 21. So a little leaner, okay? So sometimes these trail shoes can be a little, so if you don't want to risk rolling an ankle as much, if you like to be a little more grounded, feel, feel the ground just a little bit more under step, this could be the trail running shoe to consider, okay? Look at those cleats underneath there, those uh, those lugs. Okay, here we go, putting it on the scale. Women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen, 9.1. That is pretty darn good for a trail running shoe. Everybody almost into the eights. We're looking at an engineered mesh with, hold on, yep, let me just confirm, full gusset through that tongue, okay? Solid lockdown, felt great. Felt secure. The tongue has plenty of padding, so you don't feel the, the laces on the top of your of your uh, foot. I love the eyelet chain. Okay, and uh, oh gosh, I, oh, let me just take in this uh, one second here. This toe cap and this toe box. We do the toe cap test. Yes. So if you kick a rock or a root, I forgot to test this ahead of time. If you kick the rock or a root, you're going to be well protected there with that toe cap. Now, one little challenge I will say is the construction of the heel counter look at that a little flexible so it um, I would want a little more uniformity with that heel counter and it just feels I don't know it didn't feel awesome uh, you know to the touch to the foot to the foot it uh, it wasn't bad okay I'm now that I'm reflecting on the uh, I'm literally thinking about the running footage is a little heel slipping, just a smidge. Uh, so the lockdown on the on the top of the foot was great, but now I'm reflecting the heel pocket there just could use a little bit of loving, all right? So we got the graphene enhanced foam for that midsole. They call it the G-Fly. Um, it propels supposedly 25% more energy return for a fast feel stride, okay? And I gotta say, I think Innovate is moving in the right direction but I'm not sure we're there yet compared, I'm just gonna say, compared to other running shoe companies out there. Now, the Graphene, you should look it up on their website. There's their website right there, okay? I think it's inno-8.com, if I'm not mistaken, but research Graphene. It's pretty amazing, the technology behind this uh, material that they use for their outsoles, their midsoles, uh, but I'm gonna say it's just, it's progressed. Like, I remember testing Innovate two years ago, three years ago. I think, yeah, and it was really, I'll just say rigid through the midsoles. So I think they're progressing in the right direction. I'm just not sure if, and actually let's do the durometer right now. So there's my scores for the energy. Woo, what did I say? So that's 56, okay? You all know that's pretty, pretty high on the scale at this point. I prefer to be closer to like 42. Let's just do the other side just to make sure. Yeah, 52 on this side. So it's a little high on the durometer scale for my liking. But again, if you like a little bit of a firmer ride, a little more, uh, well, strength to your midsoles, you only want to buy one trail shoe for a long time, boom, pick up an Innovate trail running shoe. Outsole, we got uphill climbing and downhill 
breaking, okay? So the, the design pattern of these lugs allows you to climb well, but also to break a little bit. If you're going down steep sections, and you know we all go down steep sections that can feel a little uncomfortable at times if you don't feel secure under step. Not the case in this outsole. Love the outsole, great job there, Innovate. They just don't mess around with their outsoles. And I'm always saying, I always put like Solomon, Innovate and La Sportiva in similar categories with respect to build quality for trail shoes. And so Innovate's like right at the top, like that graphene outsole, graphene midsole, it's just gonna be there. It's just gonna last you for a long, long time. Fit true to size and crazy, a little snug. I rarely say this, okay? But I almost wish I would have gone a half size up, maybe. It just, so keep in mind, if you pick the shoe up, it felt a little snug, especially I'm thinking through the toe box, just, be, just behind the toe box there, okay? There you have it, comfort score, nothing crazy, all right? Not, not screaming comfort, and that's okay, you know. Um, yeah, sometimes, I guess, you know, how would I use this shoe? Who's the best for? I'd go with like that six to 12 mile range. I don't think I'd wanna go much past 12 miles in that type of stack height and that type of comfort level for the park claw, everybody. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I believe they're kind of pro promoting it as, but it's a little aggressive in my opinion, but as almost like you could commute to the trails on in it. Eh, the lugs are pretty, pretty legit. I think I was looking at four millimeters. Yes, four millimeters for the lugs. So it's not like above five or six or seven, you know, but four millimeters is not messing around either. But so I don't know if I'd quite put it in the commuter category, but I guess you could if you had to. Okay, how, oh yeah, who's the best four? If you want a bomber shoe, just a shoe built like a tank, everybody just going, going through the mud, going through the grit, and it's just gonna bite the mountain, I think, with those four millimeter lugs. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. $180, $180. I got you. Anything below five on the scoring scale is uh, is a little a little rough. So I don't know what to say. $180, um, that's a lot. I, this would be better at 150, but maybe the graphene is what they're thinking, you know, get a little better, you know, in fact, my durability prediction is good. It is solid, but man, whew, price point, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one by my standards. Other shoes to buy, there you go. I would buy probably both of these shoes ahead of this guy, the La Sportiva Akasha 2, and then the Saucony uh, Exodus Ultra, I believe is the name of it. Okay, there you go. There's the weight and the price for those two shoes. So there you have it. All right, soak in those quick specs one more time for the Park Claw G280 from Innovate. All right, 29 and 21. We're looking at that engineered mesh, their graphene G Fly midsole. Okay, and that 180 price point, low sevens for that final score. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, as we dial in the scoring system ever so greatly, 7.13, like that's, that you wanna be, I, I should probably pick a number. You wanna be at least, I'll say like 7.5, but even like 7.4 maybe. Um, I get, we get a lot of 7.5s and above, like right in that 7.5, 7.7 window. So 7.1, you're starting to creep down closer to that six range, which is not so good in the scoring system. Simon Fitzmaurice, you get the comment of the day. One month ago says, UK runner here, I can confirm that the X Talon Ultra 260 V1 is a mad durable shoe and is holding up well after 400 plus miles. This was a bit of a dream shoe for a wet and slippery Wendover Woods 50 miler a few years back. The sticky grip outsole rubber was perfect for descending with confidence. What did I just say a minute ago? I'm telling you, if you want to descend and climb with confidence, look at Innovate. I love Innovate, and I know that score isn't amazing. I know people at Innovate will probably watch this vlog, and uh, I'm just calling it as I see it with respect to the upper, with respect to the price point, and just you know comparing it to some others. But at the same time, I've never taken an Innovate shoe to a thousand miles. I just can't do that. But if anybody has, please do send me photos to info at Demore globalrunning.com. There you go, question of the day. Oh man, this is like the opposite of trail running. What do you think the metaverse slash virtual reality is going to entail 
in the future. <laughs> I almost said like five months from now or five years from now, but to me, I have no interest. I wanna get into the mountains. I wanna get away from computers, away from cell phones, but it is a hot topic right now. And I'm hoping, like you, you just can never, ever, ever, like are you ever gonna go put on goggles and then go for a run up a mountain? I will never do that. I will never do that. And I say that now, watch, I'm gonna do it in like 10 years from now. But I'm telling you, I have no interest in the metaverse or virtual reality. It's just not my thing. But what do you think about it in the future, everybody? All right, we'll toss it to the Innovate Running Shoe Playlist. Innovate Running Shoe Playlist, right there, right there, right there. And actually, people have been asking me to say where shoes are made more so, made in China. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna try and remember to do that made in China. There you have it. All right, on and onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.